Hey, if you want something crispy, crunchy, very tasty and almost addictive, make this. It is um, king prawns, peeled, deveined um, and head chopped off and I'm draining it. And all you have to do, put it in a um, whisked egg and then put it into the potato starch and immediately put it into breadcrumb and deep fry. Now, when you deep fry, make sure you don't waste too much oil. So I would use probably this much of oil. And uh, unfortunately, I'm using majority of this is sunflower oil. But uh, we are getting a, uh, we are getting a, what is that thing? A Ninja uh, uh, air fryer, which probably will cut down the need for a lot of oil. I'm not against oil, but this is still a lot of calories, double the calorie in a gram of carbohydrate or, or protein. Now, the other thing is that um, obviously we don't want to waste oil, but at the same time, you shouldn't use repeatedly the same oil. And if you are at least doing it, I normally tend to cook three times. Make sure that you filter away all the carbon particles, which is charred food, because that is the cause of the danger and even cause cancer if you do it regularly. See, all the stuff. So at least you have filtered it. So it's a bit cleaner, although you can see still some dust. Can you see? That depends on the sieve size. What I've seen that if you make it too um, CV, like a high um, hole count, then the, it is so slow, but maybe you can do that. Anyway, so off we go. And the other thing I thought I will show you, the, what is the major difference between Indian cooking and British cooking? British cooking is a lot of roast and steamed and all that stuff. Whereas Indian cooking is primarily stir fry, deep fry, a lot of shallow fry with a lot of churning. You have to have a really good wrist if you want to be an Indian cook. And we use this set of pan mostly, a bowl and this. And oil, we normally use coconut oil, mustard oil, um, ghee. Ghee is very popular and really good for health. Um, the other thing is that we are master of spices. This is all empty because I just washed it. We use a lot of spices. For me, it is too small amount and I have got my spice drawer which needs to be kind of re reorganized. And five Indian five spices probably you have heard, like Chinese five spices. And the other thing, we use a lot of chilies. And this is a common Indian chili. In terms of chili factor or Scoville score, it is not very high compared to another Indian chili called Naga chili, extremely pungent. Uh, and, and this is, as you know, it's a salsa made up of chipotle, which is, and this is proper chipotle paste. And chipotle is nothing but um, uh, smoked, dried jalapeno chilies. And there is another chili called Barsai chili. You will see most of the countries close to tropic, tropical countries, they use a lot of chili because chili gives them evolutionary advantage. It cools them down. It activates your sympathetic nervous system. So spice, chili, what else? We use a lot of natural ingredients. Rather than buying bread from the shop, we will make our own chapati, naan bread and parathas. This is more organic. If we are using sugar, we would rather use palm sugar or cane sugar, like from scratch. We try not to use white sugar. And the other thing, we are master of how to manage leftovers. So this is my Christmas leftover. Um, the stuffing and the turkey, it was lovely. According to my daughter, it was, it was the best Christmas uh, dinner. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to take all the flesh away, fry this up, shallow fry with lots of spices. I don't decide what spice I'm going to use, but it'll be continuously changing. And then I'm going to put it in the filo pastry. Okay. Um, and then just bake it. Uh, I can also shallow fry it. I can maybe, once I get a ninja air fry, I can maybe do air fry as well. It'll be crunchy, lovely. So compared to a food which has been used multiple times and gradually losing the honor and the respect, it brings freshness and fresh respect. So that's, that's all. Um, that's all. And the other thing I'm going to cook with the same prawn is prawn cutlet. So here I'm using smaller prawns. 
and I put a lot of green chili salt and coriander leaves and once I coarsely ground it same thing I'm going to uh, mix it with a little bit of boiled potatoes to give its consistency like a dough and then I'll flatten the dough in the form of a fish like this uh, ideally I should be using the tail of a prawn um, to give his a bow exotic look however these guys have not only chopped off the head they chopped off the tail as well so I don't have that and then I'll do the same thing once I made the dough into a, a flattened um, shape I will put it in no no egg for that I'm just going to straight to potato starch and then finely fine um, not coarse the fine breadcrumbs and then I will again shallow fry it that's it. Have a lovely, lovely day. Enjoy food. Enjoy Indian cooking, which is very organic from scratch and way cheaper than and way more healthy than packaged food, which comes with composition, percentage, preservatives, which our gut bacteria doesn't like. And I think my coffee is now cold.